Hello, Sporfy Nation. Julie here with another how-to video, and today's training video is about scorekeeping. So let's just jump right in. I am on the homepage here with nearby events that are currently live. As I scroll down, I am going to select this volleyball court five here in Salem. And when I do that, it takes me into the event page. And you can see here in the center of the screen, they are currently live. This court is empty as I tap into the live. There's nothing going on. I purposefully chose this so that we could do um, a little training video because there's not actually a game happening. So let's talk about scorekeeping. There's two ways for you to keep score and both of them involve this upper left corner. Currently you see there's these three little dashes that look like nothing, but when I tap on them, a scoreboard pops up at the bottom of my screen. Now this scoreboard is specifically for volleyball because this event was set up for volleyball, but it will adjust based off of the sport that you need and, and that you're recording from. Now, if I am courtside and I want to help out this live stream by keeping score, I simply go into the event just like we did, tap on those little dashes right there, and we can start keeping score. As I uh, use these arrows up and down, it will select the set and up and down to adjust that score. By default, it does label the teams home and away, but in your event setup, you can personalize those, customize them to the team. Now, something that's very important to point out, we have a delete button down here in an undo. I ask that you not use these. Do not hit delete. Instead, use these up and down arrows to make the adjustments needed on your score. And when it's time to go into the next set, use that up arrow to take you to those next sets and it will automatically bring your score down to zero. So there's no need for you to hit delete and clear out those scores. What happens if you do press delete, you'll get um, a pop-up window to make sure you really want to delete all the score information. And what that does is if you've been recording for an hour, multiple different games, all of your score data will be deleted. And the viewers on the other side, or even those watching the replays later, will not have a score. So um, please do not hit delete. You're taking the time to keep those scores. We want to make sure that they are reflected on the, the replays later. Now, another way for you to keep the score is when you're actually going live and you're the one that's running the camera. Um, it works in the same area. It'll be that upper left corner and it'll look like those little dashes we saw at the beginning or if someone else has touched it, the score's already up there. And all you do is tap in that upper left corner and your scoreboard will pop up. When you're live on the screen that's doing the recording, it will be to the right of your screen instead of popping up from the bottom. But it's still there and very user friendly. Simply easy to X out right there and scorekeeping is all set. All right, anyone can do this in the audience and help out that person running the live stream by simply keeping score on this event page or your camera operator can do it. So lots of ways to keep score while you're watching your athletes play. All right, good luck everyone with your scorekeeping.